if you use Photoshop to draw but you want to create a time-lapse video of your Photoshop illustration that looks just like the time-lapse videos that come in Procreate, then keep on watching because in this video, I'm going to show you step-by-step -step how to arrange your Photoshop window properly so you can then edit a Procreate-style time-lapse video in Adobe Premiere and get more people to see your work on social media. Nailed it! Okay. that I like about Procreate time lapses is that it's easy to watch because the screen doesn't zoom in and out or move around a lot. And this is how we're gonna recreate that look. Create a new file in Photoshop, then minimize your window to about half your screen. Or you can also use a dual monitor setup if you have it for more space. Then under the window menu, click Arrange, and then hit New Window 4, and then that will be your file name. And this will open up a new tab of the exact same file. So just drag that tab over to the empty side and resize it to fill up the black space. And then zoom into your canvas as much as the space allows it. Then just begin screen recording using your program of choice. I use OBS because it's free and the output video has a much smaller file size than QuickTime. And here I'm just drawing on the first canvas that we opened, which is on the right side. And as you can see, no matter how much we zoom in, rotate, and move this canvas, the second canvas that we opened up stays put. Unless, of course, you move it around, which even if you did that, it won't be moving as much as the first canvas. Open up Premiere Pro and click File, New, Sequence. Click the Settings tab and under Editing Mode, select Custom. And for Pixel Aspect Ratio, be sure it's on Square Pixels. Then for the frame size, type in the dimensions of your finished artwork. However, I noticed that having a minimum of 2,500 pixels on the shortest side of the video allows more room for compression when uploaded on Instagram. So you can use a website like Aspect Ratio Calculator, which I will link below, to help you compute for that. Then set the frame rate to 29.97, rename our sequence, and hit OK. Next, drag and drop your screen recording video files and the image file of your final artwork on the Project tab. And then let's work on the videos first, so drag and drop those video clips onto your timeline. And if you see this pop-up, just hit Keep Existing Settings. Double click on the preview video and adjust the size and position so that the left side of your screen recording, which is the steady side, fills up the entire screen. If you have more than one video clip to resize, just go to Windows, Effect Controls, then right click Copy on the Motion property, and then select your other video clips, then right click Paste, and that way all the videos will have the same size and position. And once we're happy with the framing of all video clips, select all of them, right click speed slash duration. And I personally like to speed up my time lapses to 3000%, but you can decide how fast or how slow you want it to be. Then close up these gaps between the video clips by clicking on the gap and hitting the delete button. Or you can just right click on the gap and hit ripple delete. Now this part is optional, but I like to remove the bits where a window or menu tab appears over my illustration. I just find that this makes the time lapse look much cleaner instead of having these random windows appearing on top of it. So to do this, just move the playhead over to the part that you want to cut out, select the razor tool, then click on the beginning and end of the portion that you want to remove, go back to your selection tool, select the clip that you want to delete, and hit the delete button. Then close up the gap that appears by doing what we did earlier, which is just clicking on it and press the delete button. And once you're happy with your time lapse, go to the 1 second and 20th frame of your timeline by typing this in the time code. Then move all your video clips so that they start on that place of your timeline. Next, drag your final artwork image to the beginning of your timeline and go to the 1 second and 8th frame by typing this in your time code and trim your image up until that point. Next, click the new item button, color mat, click OK, then choose the white color and rename your color mat as white. Place the color mat so that it sits between your final image and time-lapse videos. 
Then go to the 1 second mark of your timeline and drag another copy of the white color mat so that it starts on the 1 second mark and ends on the 1 second and 10th frame of your timeline. And your timeline should look something like this. Then next, go to Window, Effects, search for Gaussian Blur, and drag that onto the color mat on top. In your Effects Control tab, scroll down until you see the Gaussian Blur property and change the blurriness to 2000% and blur dimensions to horizontal. Then scroll up to the Motion property, move the playhead over to the beginning, and click the stopwatch to add a keyframe. Then move the playhead down to the end and click this diamond button to add another keyframe so you'll end up with one keyframe on either side. Then go back to the first keyframe and whatever this first number is, which is your x-axis, multiply that by 2 and make it a negative number. So for example, 1250 times 2 is 2500, make it a negative number, and this will make it so that the white color mat will move in from the left side of the screen onto your illustration. And you're pretty much done! You can add music if you want, then export your video by clicking File, Export Media. Now these are my export settings, so feel free to screenshot it if you want to copy it. You can also change up the arrangement of your clips, like maybe you want to show off your final artwork image at the end of the video instead of in the beginning of the video, or you can replace the white transition color with your own brand color, so you can add text, you can add illustration, you can add effects. Really, this is just a basic tutorial to get that Procreate time-lapse look, but feel free to build on this and really make your time-lapse video your own style. Speaking of time lapses, in my next video, I'm going to be showing a behind the scenes look of my Babuhai messaging sticker pack, which I made for Facebook. So be sure to subscribe to this channel so you don't miss out on that. In the meantime, here are two other art time lapse videos that you can watch, and check out my posts on Instagram at Jega Martinez Art for more creative content. Thank you so much for watching, create your own adventures, and I'll see you in the next video.